Greetings. Greetings, greetings, greetings. In case you haven't heard, you already know I'm your queen lover, number one. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my village where everyone gets taken care of and no one gets left behind. Oh, it is hot down here in these Carolinas, do you hear me? And if it's hot, when you actually know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's hot down here. But that's all right. Because that's what that lets you know that it's going to be all right. Too bad with all of this that's going on, we can't hit the beach, right? Oh, not me. I'm not about to hit that water and be like a pot of hot dogs on the people in there infected. And I come home, uh uh, we ain't even speaking that in the atmosphere, right? Welcome to the villa, sweetie pie. Thank you for coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my sister, sweetie pie, and to my cousin, one of my top rankers, T, Talisha, aka Mookie. Welcome to the village. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do what you got to do. We'll be right here. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm going to be here for a little while. Welcome to the village. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the village. And this isn't my normal times of three. As I told y'all before, I like to shake things up a little bit and switch things around. Always confuse the enemy. Never let the enemy know which direction you're coming from. And I want to just get in here and get off the ground and just have an amazing stream as usual. You're not streaming unless your stream is amazing. You're not streaming unless you're having an amazing time. So have an amazing time when you come in here to stream, everybody. Before I start my stream, I just wanted to touch on something, a topic from my niece and nephew, they had a great debate in their live stream, stream this morning. And it was about whether or not views and comments and things of that nature count. How many of you and leaving you comments and your subscribers and things of that nature. Because we are all taught that you need to have a certain amount of communication with other people in order for you to be productive. Which I think that's just a part of life, right guys? So now, the thing that I wanted to touch on, because I was on their live stream and I didn't want to take control of my niece's stream, but there were some things that I wanted to say. And that's why I live stream, because sometimes I go on other channels and I say, wait a minute, but why didn't they ask this? Or why didn't they say that? And I don't just want to come on another person's stream and just bombard them with a bunch of questions. Hello, everyone. Okay, I just hit the link. Okay, okay. So, um, so welcome to the um, live band, Sweetie Pie. Thank you for coming on. You're looking good. You're looking good. Thank you for coming in. So let me get back into what I was saying. When you're going on live, and I get a lot of the um, new YouTubers that I talk to that's inexperienced asking some of these same questions. So I hope that Cubs Den, as well as Blue Jeans Network, was able to assist y'all because she did an amazing job. And I love that Blue Jeans didn't always agree with everything she said, and she was able to defend herself. You know us women are always going to defend ourselves very well, and she was really hard to get in there and attack, but she was ready, and she was ready for battle, and she did an amazing job. So shout yeah. out to my niece and nephew. Cubs Good Den job, and Blue Jeans Network. They are amazing. And I, I had a great time with them. Okay, now, this is what I want to say. Anything that you do, my sister will tell you. I always tell her, have fun doing it. When the joy leaves it, it's time to go. Right. Sometimes I come in this stream and it's not a whole lot of people in here. Sometimes I may put up a video and somebody may like it and they may not like it. That's their choice, right? We all have free will, right? But don't take it. I used to get upset and say, you know, I support all these people. But they support me the way I support them. But as y'all know, we speak to the Lord. And then I listen 
Because it's not just good enough to speak and not listen to what he's going to instruct you to do. And he told me, he said, you know what? When you come here, usually you come here with a word and a way of helping someone. So make sure that you're helping people more than looking for who's going to help you and give you and do something for you. And when I tapped into that, I was able to relax on my live stream and just come and do my assignment. Sweetie Pies, is something you want to say? No, it's true. It's, it's, very, it's very true that we come and we tell our story and get a try some way to get a resolution. And 9 out of 10, it works. So. It really do. Oh, yeah. But I want to say this also. This also to the viewers out there that may not be as popular as some, because I'm fair too. And it's very easy to say, hey, suck it up, buttercup, when you are the type that is getting the ratings and is getting participation. But it may right. not be as easy to suck it up for someone that's really struggling right. to get likes, comments, as well as memberships. Right. So let's let's be a little bit considerate to how they may right. be feeling. Because it's not a good feeling to sit on a stream day after day and feel appreciated, especially disappointing right. other people. Right. Let's let's consider right. that person's feelings because we are all different and we're all created differently. Different, right. And sometimes even mm -hmm. though something is not wrong or right, it's not a matter of what's right and what's wrong. It doesn't mean person, person someone may not be a little bit emotional over it and feel like, hey, I'm a good person. Why don't anyone give me attention? And I pride myself in reaching out to the smaller YouTubers for that reason. Right. It feels like to want to hit that 1K. I know what it feels like to want to, you know, be a part of and do things and be appreciated and loved on because it's a part of being loved on. It's, mm -hmm. it's a part of being loved on when people are giving you a certain amount of hugs and love every day, especially That's when you are lovable and you're giving everybody else hugs and love. Welcome That's to the village, my dear buddy Malachi. Malachi, I'm here. Say hello to my good buddy, my vida, my dia. And shout out to Michael Carter, wherever you are out there. Hi, Michael. But let me just say this. When you come here, come here with a good attitude and don't let them break you. Don't let them break you. Because once somebody breaks and you become good, not only are you no good to nobody else, but you no good to yourself either. That's right. And I felt myself getting like that one time. Right. Before you do that to yourself, come from amongst whatever mm. got you feeling that way. Right. And regroup and start all over. Right. If you got to start all over with a whole new channel with not single membership, just to clean your sway and come back and put yourself in the proper order. We do have to be in the proper order. Because sometimes we lose focus. I've lost focus many times. And we have to get back in the proper order. And when right. you get back in the proper order, that don't mean a whole bunch of people are going to support the right thing. True. But always know that God is calling us. And he's watching. And he's saying, look at my child. She's standing all by herself. Yikes. But she's doing my work. Yes. She's strong yes. enough in my word yes. to stand out there on her own. Right. And that's when you start pleasing the Lord. Stop pleasing man. That's true. That's when your because joy starts to kick in. Because when you start feeling that love yes. of God all over you again, and you know you're doing the right thing by him, you don't even care about who else to be bothered. Right. Because the love that he's given right. us 
and he's shining and smiling all over this village. It's so radiant. It's so powerful. That's where your joy come from. Yeah. And then you come right back into this arena and you're ready to rumble. <laughs> And you're ready for anything they throw your way because as they throw it your way, God is just pushing it right onto the side away from you like a mill. He's just pushing it. He's reflecting it away from you. And as he's reflecting it away from you, your joy is just shining through. That's right. It's like the sunshine. Hey, hello, my mother, from my same mother and father. Hello, Alex. Welcome to the village. Thank you for coming in. And to my sister Sizzle Diary, thank you for coming in, sweetheart. Thank I you, did. thank you for the support. Sizzle was on the stream that I was talking about, and I was just piggybacking what we were talking about on Cubs Den and Blue Jean Network this morning about feeling appreciated in the YouTube industry. I'm going to let you speak in a minute, sweetie pie. I want to close. Saying um, out first. Uh, no, I'll get it. Thank you. Appreciate you. <clears throat> the, the point that I want to make to everybody is always trust God. Trust. If this is where it is meant for you to be and grow and do all those things that you want to do, it's going to happen. And if right. it's not, He's going to send you and shift you in another direction right. where your, your blessing may be over there. It may not be over here. So right. what the time you do have here, enjoy your right. time here because this may not be your destination for your blessing to be powerful. This may just be a place for you to get some more training for that next level that you're going through. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes everything that you're trying to do is not sitting in the seat you're sitting in. Your vision got to be past where you sit. Yes. Let your vision be bigger than head. I promise you. And just stay in that vision. But sometimes we want to wonder and try to figure out other people. We can't do it. You right. can't figure out why somebody's not doing something. That's but you true. can figure out what you can do i want to ask you sweetie pie you're pretty new do you ever feel discouraged as you're going through the journey of growing your channel yes yes i do because a yeah. lot of people thought it more like you know and i'm just coming in so it's like you know and I'm like, you know, I still do what I got to do. But then again, I'm like, oh, man, you know, and struggling. And I don't want to feel like, oh, just come check my channel out. I don't want to feel like I just want people to come in as they see fit to be, you know, like my videos. Okay, hold on. Jen Hara, welcome to the village. Welcome. This is your first time welcome. I saw the profanity in your um, profile, and I'm just curious as to what does that mean? And um, back to you, Sweetie Pie, I'm going to say this to you, not just as another YouTuber, but as a big sister. Right. Continue to be a Sweetie Pie. Continue to do whatever makes you happy. Continue to post whatever puts a smile on your face every day. Continue to be able to stand up for what you believe. You okay. can be as supportive as you can be to anybody yeah. in your circle. That's what you're called for. You have a beautiful spirit. Don't let Thank no you. one change that. Continue to do whatever you need to do to grow. Because you're growing slowly. And it's okay to grow slowly. Mm -hmm. There are some areas. Areas that some of us may be a little faster at. There may be some areas we may be a little slower at. But at the end of the day, enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. Enjoy oh, thank yourself. You. Thank you. 
And I want to just end with this to those that mentioned this on the playback and or maybe in the live stream right now when you may not be growing the way you want to or you may not be getting as many viewers or comments or followings as you would like. Remain positive. Don't allow it to make you bitter. Keep being your beautiful self. Keep positioning yourself wherever you need to be to do what you need to do to get where you need to go. And keep right. praying. Keep praying because God will right. your heart desires. He That's said so. And it's written. He said, I will give you your heart desires, right? Yeah. So that word can't come back vain, right? Yes. Vain. I will go hunt. Like, oh, not again. Okay, let me see. I'm tired of the hate, racist, mean, and negative BS on YouTube. Okay, let me just say this. How did you figure this is racist? I seen a word of your profile picture. And on this channel, we do not use profanity. So I asked you, what does that mean? You know, what would it stand for? And it could mean something else. That's why I asked you. You feel like you're being really profiled or have responsible for it. must be coming from your insides because no one said anything racist here. So now if you just want to start a fight, then maybe you should just go because I'm not in the mood for foolishness today. We're talking about positivity right now, but you do have a word of profanity to ask you about it. And I have the right to ask you what does it before I assume anything. And let's be clear, we're not going down that road today. Back to the positive people, because the right. devil is a liar. He will not get us off track today. Because and every right. time you start praising God, here come the devil trying to distract you, right? Here he come to steal the joy, right? Day he's a liar. He's the father of lies, ain't he? Ain't he the father of lies? Get out of here. Get beneath me in the name of Jesus. You can't steal that joy today. Not today, you can't, devil. Mm -mm. We won't let you do it. You see because I'll fall. Move, I get the sun. Hallelujah. Yes. Because you know, this is a prime example of what I'm trying to convey to everybody. It's always gonna be negativity lurking around, waiting to jump out. Can't wait to start something. But sometimes you got to see that in me and you got to look them in the eye and you got to tell them, devil, you a liar. Devil, you a liar. Get out of here. You best flip the blood of Jesus. See, I know how to in the spirit realm. Don't you come in here if you're not ready for my father. But okay, we're going to start this stream. We're going to pray. Lord, let us pray. We should have did that before we even started the last conversation. Father, be our God. Cover us in the blood of Jesus. Yes, Please Lord. do not let anything that's not of you with to this village, Lord. Man. Father, let your will be done in this village. Yes. Put your word in my belly and let it rise up out of my mouth. Yes, Father, Lord. touch all those that's feeling discouraged. Yes. Give them the ability to be encouraged in yes. your word and your will that they are worthy and that time will come. Just be still. Yes. Father, we thank you for what you already have done for all of us. We thank you for a sound mind, Lord. We thank you for waking us up today, Lord. We thank you for being the protection around us every day, Lord. We thank you for when we're down, lifting us back up, Lord. We thank you for taking the pain out of us when we're weary, Lord. Father, we just thank you so much. Lord, we lift this up in your son Jesus' name. For his sake we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Yes, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah.
Just says God is hallelujah. Yes, Malachi. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, thank you, God. Glory to God. Yes, he will do it. Won't he do it? Amen. He said, you got to get out of here, enemy. You better flee. You better leave my daughter alone. You better flee. Because when she start hollering for me, I'm coming. And you know what I'm going to do. I got that much faith in my father, that king of all kings. Because I already seen what he can do. I touch somebody and say amen. Amen. Huh. <laughs> amen and amen. Okay, y'all, we're going to get off the ground before we another groundhog. <laughs> Devin, you can't steal my joy. You can't steal my joy if you wanted to. And shout out to Cardi B. Our yes. topic is going to be how do you wean your too old, I stress, too old toddler or from bottles, the breast, breastfeeding, pacifiers, and pampers. There's too many children over the age of two years old walking around today in pampers, drinking bottles, breastfeeding, and right. sucking a pacifier. Right. I'm talking about this, and I felt like bringing it right to the village. How do you feel? What age do you think a child should stop drinking bottles and using a pacifier and all of that stuff? I say one. I say one. Okay. To those of you in the chat, if you have any children, at what age were they potty trained? And at what age were they? Or for pampers and things of that nature. Hmm. You look so nice today. Thank you. So do you. I want to say this, right? Because I do think that <laughs> I do think that sometimes children are different. Right. But I, I don't think that it's normal if you got a three-year-old and they're still in pampers. And if they are still in pampers, then we have to figure out how to get them out of pampers. Right. Because that's not normal. Now, the other question that I have, and this was the one that we kind of struggled with a little bit, and it was about how do, okay, Malachi said one, sorry, y'all, my um, computer wasn't lined up right. How do, how do you decide what age should you stop breastfeeding? Because some women do believe there's more vitamin and nutrition in the milk from the breast, and they tend to give it to their children longer for different reasons that they feel it helps out with them with their growth. Right. So I feel that a child should have the breast longer than right. years old or not. How does that play out? Well, I I just feel that um I would say if they if they cut in teeth or or you know you can still do it but pump it out and give it to them but I don't think they should be latched on because that's more that's more um All right, can you see the comments can you see the comments sweetie pa it's the saying about eight months old I simply started. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is this what we're going to do? Wait, 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 wait. Don't do both. Look, that's why I asked you. Hold on. What we're going to do, I'm going to do Alex Doe and you do Sizzle Diaries and then go back and forth comments. 
Okay. okay. From Alex Doe. Well, Malachi said at one years old, from Alex Doe. At eight months old, I simply start the process of warning them off of those things. I don't raise babies using a pacifier at all. By one years old, I have them out of all of that. So true. I'm the same way. I don't believe in all that pacifier stuff. You better hush and sit out somewhere. <laughs> okay, you go. Sizzle Diaries. My three-year-old still wears pampers at night. He eats potty boy during the day. He was born, born a thumb sucker and he still takes his bottle at night. He cannot go, cannot do without his dessert. Okay. How do you feel about that, sweetie pie? Starting to talk, you're starting to move around and stuff. We can okay. I, I agree with him with the pacifier. I don't like it. Um, it's just I guess it's different people for different for you know, and um, but at least his son is doing it at night. So during the day, he know he has to go to the bathroom. So soon he'll be off of it. So that's very good. Sizzle. Like right, but see, there's a trick, Sizzle Diaries, and I'm going to tell you what it is. And my mom taught me this. If your child is wearing it at night, cut off their feeding and drinking time at a certain time about like 7 or 8 p.m. so that they would no longer have to use the bathroom and then let them use that right before bed. And normally they'll be dry in the morning if they didn't eat and drink too much before bedtime. Now, as far as the pacifier, you know, the bottle at night, that definitely happens because the at night is why they're probably still wearing pampers because they're having a bottle before bed. And nine times out of 10, what goes in must come out. So if you can get them off that bottle, you'll see that that will change. Okay, read Alex. Want me to read Alex? Yes. In most cases, I feel that a, if a child is not taking talking, drinking out of the cup, only these can be wrong. Okay, list what those three things may be, and we'll get back to the, to you with that, um, Alex. To Sizzles. I like that name, Sizzles. I don't call her Sizzle Diaries. I actually call her Sizzles because that means she's hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Okay. I breastfeed him too, he was, but weaned himself off the breast because he preferred solids and real food. My boy never liked pacifiers, but he sucks his thumb since birth. So is he still sucking his thumb? Thank you for the advice, sis. It's so helpful. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something about that sucking your thumb. It's hard because, you know, some of my siblings used to suck their thumb, right? And I saw them doing it, and I started doing it. So my mother made me quit, right? And she didn't want me sucking my thumb bad enough for these big old lips, and now I'm a fuck too, too, right? So she stopped me, right? So I couldn't suck my thumb no more. And when I would go to sleep at night, I would suck my tongue. So, you know, it's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but um, it's something, though, when they come out sucking their thumb, sometimes it's hard to break them out of that. My first granddaughter was doing that, and we were tying stuff all around her hands and putting stuff on it, hoping that, you know, it would discourage her. And for a while, she, she would find a way to get that thumb out, even as a little baby. <laughs> What you think and, about that, sweetie pie? Um, well, I mean, I feel like it, it they wing they self off. I have seen people grow up, they would do it when I was growing up, and then as I got older, they wouldn't do it no more. So I know that 
sometimes and then sometimes I've seen people still doing it wrong. So it depends. Yeah, I know a couple of grown women that suck their thumb. Grown women that suck their thumb. They done brought that into their adult life. I mean, you know, it's but it's, but it's harder to stop that thumb sucking than he. Mm-hmm. Yes. And if I, he was born doing it, I think that's gonna be even harder because he probably was doing that in the womb. Yeah. You know how they do the sonogram and then sometimes show them something they thumb? Him out. Yeah. Wow. Oh. From Alex, wait, did he answer? Because this computer been acting crazy. It's kicking people out. It won't let people in. And I want to apologize to those of you that weren't able to get into the stream the other day because it was brought to my attention that some of you were trying to get in when it was Nishi Pie and um, the Queen of Six. And he couldn't get into the stream. People was getting kicked out. I don't know what all was happening that day, but I'm just, you know, apologizing to you all because we had a good time that day. <laughs> we did. Okay, from Alex Stone. Inconsistent training. Child had child is special needs, or the child may simply require a bit of time. Two to three years old is too old to be sucking bottles and using pacifiers. Some parents are simply lazy. How do you feel about that? And to sizzles, do you think that some parents are lazy? The reason why their children are doing all of these things, or do you believe there's another underlying situation? Um. Just like Alex, I just Don't feel that by. it it depends on the child. You know, it depends on their development. You know, if you tell them no, do they listen? So it that's like a really touchy subject because that's an iffy thing because you just don't know. Some kids grasp it. Some kids, I I agree with Alex. And Malachi, if you're still you with potty training or training your daughter, weaning her off her bottle to that nature. Were you active in that process or did the mother take the key role in that? With my children, that one didn't really to have it because first of all, I wasn't going to keep one bottle on them pampers. And with my firstborn, I said, before you turn one years old, you're going to be off for everything. And she was. But with my baby, that little girl was fast as grease lightning. And by 10 months old, she was walking really well. She wasn't yeah. drinking bottles. She never had a pacifier. And she was, you know, talking everything a little bit, you know. And her grandmother on her daddy's side, she, me and her got into it because she felt like I was moving her too. You done took her bottle. She only eight months. This job moving her too quick. Let her be a baby, but she would just have the bottle laying over here, laying over there, laying over there. She wouldn't drink it. And then it said, so it's no good. And I would throw the milk out. And I would say, well, let me put some juice in it. She would sip a little bit out of the juice, and she would leave it sitting all around until the juice was hot. But she could actually drink out of a regular glass and a regular cup, and that's what she liked to drink out of. So I told my mother, I said, Mom, you know, she really don't drink bottles. So my mother said, take it. Why would you keep pushing it on her if she's not, you know, whining for it? Just take the bottle. Right. So at eight months, I took her bottle. Right. Wow. She was eating. She was drinking. And um, wow. we, we got her potty trained off before her first birthday. That's just a rule. We ain't having you running around here just working on the pampers. Uh -uh, you got to come out the pampers. Yes. So I'm going to give y'all some tools to help you. The first tool is, like I said earlier, give your child a cutoff hour for eating and drinking and a bad time because these kids will stay up all night these days if you let them. Give them yes. kids a bad time. By 9 o'clock or 9.30, no later than 10 because these are 2, 3 o'clock in the morning kids these days. It's bad time. 
give them their last meal and their last drink at a certain time, and that's it. They're going to cry for a while mm. because that's what they used to. So prepare yourself for a week or two of them crying because they go going cold turkey. That's what it boils down to. You know how we are at night when we want to snack? Yes. I can't, I can't go to sleep hungry. So you bed after them, that's something. You stay up for a little and then you go to bed because the longer they stay up, they start working up another appetite. Right. <laughs> I Okay, welcome back, T. Welcome back to the show. Hi, um, Read Alex Doe, sweetie pie. Uh, okay. In most cases, I feel that if a child is not taking... No, 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 wait. Oh, okay, I see it. So when he said, I've seen parents say... That okay. child won't listen. I laugh at them. There is a confusion about who is the parent I don't negotiate with a child. True. How do you feel? How do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about what Alice just said? I've seen parents say that their child won't listen. I laugh at them. There is a confusion about who the parent. I don't negotiate with a child. Y'all put it in the chat. What you think about that, sweetie pie? I think that, which is true. Sometimes I think, you no, know, if the child is saying no, and I'm like, okay, no, you're the mother. You take it. You know, you say no. You do this, and you post. They're supposed to listen. You're not supposed to listen to the child. You have the child. Hold on, hold on. Is anybody else offering? Back in else's buffering. If y'all are, let us know that you're buffering. Put buffering. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, sweetie pie. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I oh. wanted to let her know if she's buffering. Oh, okay. So um, what I was saying is that I agree with Al because see a lot of parents listen to the children and sometimes i just be like oh god like you know and people i mean the child says no and then next thing you know they say okay, it's too large when it comes down to your kid and i see that okay Sizzle Diary said something that I hear all the time in this situation. The crying melts my heart. <laughs> and all about the crying. Take the crying until you give in. Because sometimes we be holding out as long as we can, but then they start crying so bad and we get tired to be like, where's that bottle or that pacifier? Just give it on to them for the night. I got to lay down now. I'm tired. They done wore me out. Ah! <laughs> I know. They be going to use down sometime. I don't know why, but my kids, they didn't really cry for it like that. They would whine a little bit and then they would go on to sleep. So I kind of got a you know a little bit of help. And then um, my baby she didn't drink bottles at bedtime. Malachi said I was active in the potty training process, but everything else her mother did those parts. Okay, find the um, potty training process. Malachi, was it difficult? And what was your technique? Next question from Alex, sweetie pie. Um, um that is that I'm totally again as a baby talking to a again a baby talking to a child that they will learn and speak a little No 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 you missed it you gotta keep up. Wait, 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 wait. Do the one over to Leisha. 
Another thing that I'm totally against. That's what I was doing. That's why I was doing that. Another oh, okay. thing. Go ahead. Another thing that I'm totally against is, it, is baby talking to a child. I speak the same language that they will learn and speak later on in life. Okay, how do you feel about that? And how do y'all feel about that? How do y'all in the um, comments feel about baby talk? Baby talk, I can't understand it. So, but I noticed that they do understand. So, if they understanding, so that means that they that means that you can listen. So since you listening, that means you understand. Okay. I'm going to come to you in a minute, Talisha. But to the baby talk thing, you know, I'm such a big baby myself, right? And so, I, okay, I'm guilty sometimes. See, we're going to kill our baby more. Ooh, the poo, the poo, the poo. That's a kitty baby. That's a cute mom. <laughs> okay, okay. I get a little guilty of those kind of things sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, 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 y'all. I'm, I'm losing stuff now, so I got to speed up. So I do believe in children. But I do think there do have to be times when a baby is treated like a baby, too. Talisha said parents have to take charge. Yes, you have to take charge. But you can take charge with love, right? Or do you just say, get over here all the time? Or do sometimes you say, okay, you tinkled on yourself. It's okay. Let's get you some more pants and let's let's try it again. Don't you pee on yourself no more. You get on that potty, you hear or do you say, if you pee on yourself again, I'm going to whip your tail. <laughs> okay. I think we missed somebody. So I'm over here cracking up. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Okay, do Alex after Talisha. Okay. Oh. Okay, if you are crying for a reason. I see that. If you are crying, no, we, 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 we are, I see, wait, wait, wait. We miss. I seen parents tell their children to take a bath, and the child say, "No, I'm playing my game." And then the parent, it couldn't be me. That's from Alex. Oh how yeah, do that's how do y'all feel about when you tell a child to do something and they tell you no? Oh. How do you feel about that? Is it okay for your child to tell uh, you I'm taking no bath right now? Um, oh, God, I tell y'all, honey, y'all, y'all can, I just feel I that. I know coming here that I know is crazy. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I just don't think a child, I think you shouldn't let the child say okay, no. I think it's more no to speech. True. True, Tisha. Okay, this one is from Alex. If you're crying for a reason, I'll do my best to find out what's wrong. If you're simply crying because you have your to have your own way, then I have to I, I'll give you something to cry about. You'll cry yourself to sleep. Okay. Now, sometimes it has been known where parents didn't even realize something was wrong and they thought the child was crying for no reason and they actually were teething or had ear infections or things mm -hmm. of that nature. So you do have to kind of take, you can't just jump on them with both feet. How do you feel about that, sweetie pie? Um, I feel that um, I feel that for 
a touchy subject too because from from what I have learned with kids, like kids are different, and sometimes they teach you can teach them different, and they can get it. But that crying, I don't know. I just feel. I, <laughs> Give them whatever they want to keep them. Okay, you read um, to Alicia comment. It's on the um, screen. Half of these kids need speech. Which right, is no, no, no. Natural. Half of these kids need speech. And you know what? Let me tell you, I'm glad that she said that. They really do. How do you feel about that, sweetie pie? I mean, I yes, I feel like we have to get them to, get them to talk natural speech. Yes, I really feel that way. Okay, what did you say? They were like, you know what? Like, uh-uh, I don't understand what you say is, you know, so I understand the the speech pattern. Sometimes it's too ebonic because it's too ebonic. Or it could just be too, it could be too jumpy. Yes. And let me say this when it comes to speech. Because I have a pronunciation problem sometimes and I have to really take my time and pronounce the word properly and break it down into syllables and nouns and pronouns, etc. right? And having a pronunciation issue, I've always, you know, having to kind of talk in my head before it comes so I can kind of read, arrange the word. So I kind of understand where speech therapy come in. And some children that are not talking by a certain age needs speech therapy. Wow. therapy. And I find this very yeah. instrumental because the therapists have tools to help get those words out and help them to be able to talk properly. And the right. longer you delay getting them therapy, the wow. much more difficult it is for them to know how to, you know, articulate. And it's also good to get their hair in check because sometimes when a child have a speech problem, they don't hear the right? not all the time, sometimes. So it's okay. imperative that you take them and let them diagnose them properly okay. so you know where they are. Right. True. I be a softie for my grandkids, but I do have to go. Wait, wait, wait. I'm you lost me somewhere. I be a softie for my grands, but I do have to go. Oh, but I do have to go there. Stop now. Yes, I kind of let them get away with a lot, right? But as a yes. grandmother, it's instrumental that I'm also teaching them properly. Right. Oh, sweetie pie. I don't allow a child to come back to me. And when I tell them to, I want it done, not do, it done, not now, but right now. Okay, hold on one minute. Thank you for coming in, Sizzle. Sizzle Diary is in the building. If you're watching this on playback and you don't have Sizzle Diaries, make sure you check them out. Sizzle Diary is in the building. Everybody say, we see you later, some diaries. Thanks for coming to the village. We love you. Oh, shoot, I didn't even see James come in. Hey, James. Hi, James. Welcome to the village, James. Hi, James. Come on, morning. This is another one of our lawyers, James. Put him up on the frame. Hello, James. Welcome to the village. James, do you have any children, James? Okay, hold on now. 
okay? I don't allow a child to talk back to me. And when I tell them to do something, I would have done, not now, but right now. <laughs> How do you feel about that? It's true. How do you I feel about that? It's true. Yeah, you got to have order. Yes. I believe. Here's the thing. Our kids are spoiled, but they discipline. We don't play that being too fresh and grown in this family. You're going to be spoiled. You're going to get what you want. If we can do something, you're going to listen and mind, folks. Right. You ain't going to be too fresh. They'll tell you, I spoil the grandkids rotten, but that being too fresh, no, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me Alex <laughs> Read Alex Over Sizzles I'm not a I'm not I'm not abusive to a child But I do use correct me measures To make it clear That I'm not the parent that I'm the parent and you're the child. You do your part and I'll do mine. True. I agree. Sound pretty much like me. <laughs> Sound pretty much like it should to me. You, you can spoil them, but get order now. Don't let them be out of control. Okay. Um, Talisha said, hey, the sizzles and James. See you later, Sizzle James. And now for Malachi, I put her on the potty every two hours and tell her to use the restroom, explain why she is on the potty. Okay, that sounds pretty basic. So how did that work out, Malachi? Um, Alex, after Malachi, sweetie pie. All right, Malika. Okay. Once I get a child on the proper accord, we have a great relationship. Amen. Yes. That's what it boils down to. Getting order because if a kid is just order, you can't have a good relationship. And I'm pretty much the same. All my nieces and nephews, they'll tell you, Auntie used to whoop our behind. They they would tease them and say, Aunt D, whoop y'all butt, and y'all always want to be under her, and we don't do it, and y'all be over here cussing at us and all kind of stuff. But then you go over there and you act like you got some sense. And they right. say, because Auntie will whoop your tail. And to this day, right. they know Auntie will tear your tail up. Don't, don't get out of here. They grown men, right? <laughs> and women. But, you know, all jumps to the side. Right. You have order. And respect will wow. take you a long way. I don't care what you're doing. You got to establish respect. I always say that. That's right. Congratulations. <laughs> she put me to Lynn. Shout out to Lynn. Kicking it with Lynn. I miss Lynn. Lynn had me in here falling down. You hear me? She had another one that made me laugh. And shout out to Cooking with Lynn, too. <laughs> Let me see. She says, sure don't know dress stuff. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <Well, dude. laughs> Round two. <laughs> right. You gonna know something now. You ain't gonna be flying. You don't know how to act. People thinking we ain't taught you nothing at the house. You just out in these streets acting like you an animal. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that. I'm getting ready to whip your tail out here. And these kids spoil yeah. but they have respect. And they gonna say yes, ma'am, and no, sir, and act like we taught you how to go out in that street and have a decency. Yeah. Get down there to the schoolhouse acting like you don't have no home train embarrassing us. Everybody looking like who kid is that? Right. Exactly. Right. All right. Okay, read Alice's question. I mean, comment. 
I shower a child with all and all of the love and affection that they desire. But with me, you have to earn this. Facts. Period. Period, Pooh. I agree. You have to you have to earn it. To do what you have to do. Right. Okay, for Malachi. To me, it worked out great. It only took six months to potty train her. Some of my friends say it took longer for them. Wow, that was a good wow. I think I had like the hardest training for me was about two weeks. And I mean, we were diligent in two weeks, but I want to ask y'all some more questions before we get off, you know, topic, because I do really want to help people that are needing right. some tools to get these kids on the right path. Yeah. So let's, let's get back where we need to be. Right. Right. Okay, we're going to start with the bottle. No, no, let's backtrack. Let's start with the pacifier. If your child is on a pacifier, I'm going to tell you the best way to get your child off that pacifier. Get you some rest, because I'm telling you, this ain't going to be easy. And throw that pacifier in the garbage and don't buy no more. Don't have nothing around there, then just in case they start crying in the middle of the night, you can go. And I promise you, it's going to be rough. I think it's harder when they coming off that pacifier than I don't, I don't know what's in that pacifier, but it must be gold because they will give that bottle up before they give you that pacifier. Right. They going to cry. Right. They going to cut up. They might wake up every couple of hours reaching for that pacifier, especially if they sleep with it in their mouth. You really got to battle. But right. let them cry. They can't cry. Right. Just check on them every now and again and cool them off if they hot and give them a little, a little right. sip of apple juice or something just to make sure that they calm. Maybe that'll lay them back down. Right. And don't you dare give them that bottle. Okay. Put them in the plug. Don't don't give them the bottle or the bottle. They'll get right. past it. They're not going to perish. No, no, I don't know no child that perished from being trained off of their bottle. That's do you have any ideas of what they can do, sweetie pie? I took child, and what I did was I took them all and I hit them. And when I went to come back to pass the um, to come back the next day, she was asking. The mother was like, "Where you put them?" I said, "Oh, I hit them." And then I would do a fruit. I'm like, "You want you want this? Look, it tastes good." And I give him a fruit. Or, um, something like um, a bit like um, an apple with some caramel on it, you know, stuff like that. So I was substituting it for fruit. Okay, that's a great idea, especially during the day, because most children are not as bad during the day. It's that night hour; they gonna ooh, they gonna let it rip. Because a lot of them can't sleep without it. They'll leave that bottle hanging around and that pacifier all day. But when they hit that bed, for some reason, that's what makes them go to sleep. And that's when you're going to catch the heat. In that middle of the night when you're ready to lay down and they hollering like a wolf. <laughs> you going to want to hurt somebody. <laughs> okay. Um, v to Alicia. Yes, Lord. Thank God my grands didn't use pacifiers. They will cry for hours. <laughs> Mine too. That's a family thing, yeah. I think. We done learned. Don't, don't you? First thing they do when you push that baby out in that hospital is stick that green pacifier in their mouth. And I find it, uh-uh, don't give my baby that. Uh-uh, soon as, but this is, no, nope, and nope. Do not give my baby that pacifier. I home as a stand to stay pacified. But we not use, and a lot of times, you know, the other grandmothers or the daddy, they see them babies hollering, they be like, why you don't just give them a pacifier? No, we ain't doing passy. We ain't doing that here. 
Mm -mm. We done learned how it is to get them babies from that provider. Right. Mm. How do you feel about it, sweetie pie? Giving them a pop. Mm. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. Mm. And let's not forget that some of them pacifiers be looking ooky, right? I seen some of them babies, they done suck that thing, it done got all thrown up and just soggy looking. Oh, oh. They say, oh no, get rid of that thing. Hey. And then sometimes you'll take that one and try to give them a new one. They won't even want the new one. They want that old raggedy specified. And put the thing around it to hold on to it. <laughs> It's sour and they sour. Ew, just go with the stanky pacifier. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. This is from Alice. Good thing that I never introduced a pacifier to a child. One less thing to have to get them off of. Hallelujah. You better know it. And if you're lazy, you definitely don't want to be having another thing to get them off of. Why? Okay, so we done worked on the pacifier. Now it's time to get round there to that potty. Yeah, yeah, put this up because this is so true. Oh my God. she is in the van. But this is the truth. That's true. That's very true. Dirty pacifiers make kids yes, it's true. Of Jesus, but it's the truth. It's Next true. thing you know, they feel sick and thrash and all that in their mouth and stuff. Yes. Yes, they unsanitary. They just Sitting all over it, laying all over it, wake up in the middle of the night. Got bleh, 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 you know. And then what about when they drop it on the ground and they pan and pick it up and suck the dirt off of it uh. and then stick it in their mouth? Ah! <laughs> drop. Um, I, I tell do... you, you can remember some stuff when you start talking about these fast fires and stuff, right? I wanted to get them off of them pampers and pacifiers as soon as possible. Well, not pacifiers, but bottles and stuff. Because so I still had to get out and go out. And that was less stuff to have to be holding on to. You got a diaper bag and this and that. You looking like you getting ready to go in the military. Uh-uh. You get get rid of all this stuff. <laughs> get you off this stuff. <laughs> Plugging like, all this stuff around every day. Especially in the summer. Right. Yes, Lord. Thank God, my grandson. Um. Okay. Read to Leisha. Oh no. Alex. His last one. Wow. That's good. Uh, Alex said, "I probably trained babies within a week." Right. Now. What is the tool that you would use? And I want to ask all of y'all that's in the um chat, what tool would you recommend that a parent use if they trying to potty train their child and they're having some difficulty? Because we want to give them some tools that they can say, maybe that might work for my baby, or maybe that might work for my baby. So what are some tools that we can recommend that they can try that might help them get on the right track? Put it in the chat, y'all. Do you have any tools, sweetie pie? Um, I'm with Medify, so ah. I'm with Medify on that one. Just, just keep them on the potty for every two hours. Oh, you know? huh? keep them on a potty every two hours. Okay. Okay. Let me tell y'all, right? I found me some sugar free fudge pops. I done got those my life with a snack. Yeah, those are good. Mm, mm. 
I like um the um, ice cream one, the um, one with the orange in it. Mm hmm. I want to say this. If you're looking for an easy quick fix, you may not find it. Because it's not always easy. I was easy. And I'm going to tell y'all another secret. I find the younger you train them, the easier it is to train them. Even though some people say, wait till they get about a year or 18 months and it's easier to them. Mm -mm. Get them while they're still small and put them on a routine. When they get about six months, make sure you're doing certain things every day at a certain time. And I noticed with my babies, they will wake up with a tramper in the morning. When I noticed that, I said, it's time to train them. They're not, they not wetting their pamper at night no more. And that's usually <laughs> about eight, nine months if you stop that feeding and drinking at a certain hour. And when I noticed them doing that, I jumped on it. I said, it's time to train them. And it sure enough worked. Okay. That's a good one. Reward them oh. with the and purchase two potties. And yes, I like the party with the music. When they use it, it plays music. And you know me, I've been going to turn it into a fun time. When I be, Al, you use the bathroom. In order for you to get that music playing, you got to use the bathroom in that party. And when they use it, we have to do our little dance for Al, Al, Al. Yes. Next thing you know, yeah, they oh, potty yeah. train. Mm -hmm. I see. I seen the new potties that when you flush okay, it, it makes, it makes the noise like the flush, like the bathroom. Yep. Mm -hmm. That work. What? Alex. I watch for, I watch for when they usually, usually have a bowel movement and start putting them on the potty and tell them when they have to use the bathroom to let me know. I reward them every time they do it. That's good. But you got to reward them. You got to reward them. And let me say this, guys. When you think of rewards for them, think of healthy rewards. Because I can remember, I used to sit my kids on the page to give them a bag of M&Ms and all kind of stuff. Don't do <laughs> fat and snacks just because they all pop. <laughs> Get raisins or something that's going to weigh them down. They're sitting on the potty chair just get big as a house. <laughs> With so raisins, you know, great. So it's a little bit, not too much. You got to sit and eat till you first. But normally, I give it to them after. But with my first, I just give it to her on the potty. Here, eat this while you use the bathroom. No, now sit down and use the bathroom. Then you get your treat. Right. That's right. right. That's, that's a good way to put it like that, yeah. And also, when you buy pull-ups for the baby, go up a size so they can get it down. Remember, toddlers are not able to use their finger coordination the way we do. So they need to be a little bit looser, not where they just going to slide off, but where they can get them up and down so they right. can pull that pull-up up and down on their underpants right. or their down and get on and off the potty. Because sometimes I notice they'll struggle getting their underpants uh, down and they'll be trying to get them down and peeing all over themselves. So go up a size in the underpants until they get trained. Right. Okay. Do you have any solutions, sweetie pie? No. Uh, <laughs> And also, for all of you parents that's out there and you're really, really struggling, guess where you can go and find awesome cartoons? 
Right here on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube have nice little videos and cartoons that actually show the kids how to become potty trained about getting out of those pampers. And you can actually show your kids these videos so they can get the concept of what you're trying to teach them. Because it's all down to them getting the concept of the going to use the bathroom. That's true. That's very true. And if it's another child that you can train with them, I find that they grasp it faster also. If you have another kid that's using the bathroom and they can shadow them. They tend to come on in there and shadow them and do really well. So sometimes right. you have to just let them find their right. way and watch the other person. Hello, us, never them. Welcome to the village. Thank you for coming in. Everybody say hello to us, never them. Hello, us, them. Us, never them. Shout out, shout out. Us never is a part of the village also, y'all. There are people that are coming into the village that you probably haven't seen that often, but a lot of them are making their way on in. And I just want to say thank you all that's coming in and showing support. I appreciate your support. It makes thank me you. smile. Thank you. And if y'all out there on the porch, Come on in. Mm -hmm. And if you watch me all the time on the playback, I appreciate you. But why don't you come on in some? Don't y'all forget to hit that like and make sure if you haven't already, you joined. If you haven't joined, go on back out and do so. So. Hello to the other host. That's Sweetie Pie Bras. Yes. I'm going to take her back down so she can see your name. I like to put people up when they come in right. so that, you know, they get a you know, proper introduction. I want to just say everybody that come into the village, we give you a warm welcome. We try to make everybody feel wanted and needed and, you know, accepted here. So come on in and just jump right on in. If you have something to say, us never them. We never meet a stranger here in this village. And we like people that come here and get comfortable and are able to just have a nice time. We're talking about potty training your children, getting them off of pacifiers, mm -hmm. bottles, the breast and how do you feel about that? Do you have any children? While she's typing that in, I want to say this. Alex, you touched on something I have to agree with when it comes to people being lazy. You can't yes. be lazy if you're potty training. Take out some time to get you some rest before you start. Clean your house before you start. Your baby gonna be making mistakes and accidents, and you're gonna have to be up and moving and get your good mop and get you some yeah. extra little pine and bleach and stuff. You can get that little cinch up out of stuff. You may have to get a couple of extra so sheet sets for the bed so that when they do have an accident, you can actually get on top of it. Right. So prepare to work because it's not a easy thing. Now you're not gonna always just get up and everything gonna be perfect. They may have some accidents, and when they have an accident, don't beat them. They're not trained. Don't beat them. Just say, oh, we had an accident again. We gonna have to stop you from having all these accidents. I bought my right. kids character underwear. And this actually worked right. for them, right? They love the little princess and stuff. And I would go, oh, no, you peed on Cinderella. Look, now she's all messed up. 
And when they would start peeing, they would be like, "Come on, pee!" They would, pee. They would not want to pee on these characters on these pants. <laughs> they would cry sometimes too, like, "Oh, oh, oh Cinderella!" And it worked on the grades too, so it's a method to that. I'll call you pie. I meant, okay. Sweetie pie is us never dim. If you don't have sweetie pie, feel free to, you know, join her and she'll join you when she come off the stream. Yes. She's actually networking. Okay, Alex said, I saw a girl fix her grass on a plate of food. And he said, I don't want that and knocked it on the floor. And she said, he's so cute. <laughs> Laughed out loud. By age run, I was made. I made it my business. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm reading a whole other thing. Hold on. I said you need to tail up. Right. Tears behind up. Let me tell you something. You don't slap down nothing up in here. You done fell and hit your head, honey. Mm -mm. You don't start slapping stuff around in here. You don't pay no bills. That's not cute, and that's when they start knocking on you next. <laughs> no. no. I just feel like kids is just they ha they have a learning process. They get it, and as as long as you keep on them, they will get it. Right. Yes. That's, that's, right. that's the thing. They will get it. And you have to have order. There's some things that's cute, and then there's some things that's just not cute, period. I have four kids, and all four were all for pacifiers and trying to potty by the age of one. I made it my business. That's what I'm talking about. Uh -uh, we ain't dragging all that crap around. And when they get older and older, and they still on pampers, baby. Oh, you go to open up that pamper, it looked like a big grown man that went up in there. Uh-uh, we ain't doing that. Don't. Read the next one so you pop. Right, can you hear me? Uh, snap. Oh, and I hear you now. Can y'all hear me? I can hear you now, sweetie pie. Can you hear? Oh, no. It just went low. Mic check, mic check. Bring it up on your um, PC. Turn your volume up. Will you mute it? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? I can hear you. But I it sounds low. Yes. <clears throat> it sounds low. Hold on, let me get something. No, it's on my end. All right. Wait. Can you hear me? Okay, um, the stream the yard in the chat. Everybody that want to join us on the panel, feel free to hit the link and come right on in. Everybody's welcome, it's not necessary. 
But if you would like to come in, I'd like to offer the same opportunity to everyone. But if you don't want to come in, that's okay, too. Okay. Um, at Alex, though, people think that's cute, but I teach them without hitting. It's always good to get down on the knees to their level and talk to them. That's so true as never them. Alex, though, I agree hitting isn't the solution to every situation. But if you know a plate of food is on the floor, if you, but if you throw a plate of food on the floor in my house, you're definitely getting spanked. While I'm telling you what you did wrong, hey, mm -hmm. that's your message. Amen to that. Yep. Read the next one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Laugh out loud. Okay. Um. Out loud, I have seen kids hitting the parents. Nor do I condone that, but we will, we all teach our kids different. But you won't see my kids do that, they know better than that. You better testify, <laughs> you better testify. We don't play the disrespect once again. You know, and I don't like hitting kids and that be my, you know, mm -hmm. form of communication. That's a last result for me because I feel like we have to find other ways to be able to get that respect and order. You know, and I usually would take something away from them. But if I feel like you take advantage because I won't spank your tail, then that's when I'll spank your tail just to let you see that I will spank your tail. But genuinely, I don't have to go that far. Because when you put that respect in them from a very small age, they just know that tone of your voice when you say, all right now. Right. Look, one time too many. I'm talking too much. That's my sign to say, all right. And I tell them I'm talking too much today. They look right. around. They be like, I better get in the other direction. <laughs> I know she thought to look like Miss right. Sophia up there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, read the next one from um you uh, from us never from no. I agree at Alan. Go sweetie pie. Uh, where? Where? She said I agree at okay. Alex though. That's not a yeah, that's not acceptable. My kids wouldn't dare. I tell you that. Alex, I don't tolerate disrespect children at all. True. Okay, I got a question. Right, okay? disrespectful children is not cute. And then I don't even want them around me because I just start to acting crazy after a while. Like, look, what is, what's wrong with your kid? They don't listen to you. You tell them stuff, and they just going on like you ain't said a word. Hey, you guys. I have a question. Go, sweetie pie. Hey, guys, I have a question. Okay. Okay. The question is, okay. my neighbor wants me to watch her children, and she has three, and they, th they speak Honduran Spanish. I know Puerto Rican Spanish, but some kids, the kids do not listen. Okay. And when you tell them, sit down, or sienta, no, sienta, you know, sit down, they look at you like, and I'll be like, you want me to watch your kids, but they don't listen. And then when you yell at them, you say, no, 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 don't do that. Oh, that's bad. Or go in the house or whatever. She'll say, oh, no, 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 no. No, step away. Like, you know, it's okay. No, it's not okay. How do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about when you're watching someone's children and their children are not listening, and then the parent wants you to get order or discipline their child. How do y'all feel about that? I don't wish kids that's rude. 
So I'm not going to answer the question. I'll let y'all answer it. Because once I start seeing that you don't teach your own children right and they respect someone that's an adult order, then that's my cue. That that's just out of my league. And instead of getting myself in a situation, I'm just not even going to watch your kids because... And so I told That's her that my job to really raise your children. So I said no. Right, I'm not nobody's children. That's something that you you should be doing. And if your kids don't listen, they disrespect. Usually after the first, usually after the first that I have to put names to the seat of some pants, it doesn't happen too many times after. That's true. Kids are taken as far as you let them. But wow. I don't like, like I said, to use corporal punishment on children because I try my best to find other outlets and be able to talk to them more than, you know, beat them and stuff like that. But, hey, what they said in the spare the rod and save the child, spare the child, right. it's a method to the madness, honey. You got to let them know you ain't got to beat them till you're abusing them. But sometimes you gotta give them that just a little tap tap to let them know. Uh uh. Yeah. Malachi, I won't be able to watch them at all. Mm hmm. Why Malachi? Why wouldn't we watch them, Malachi? Let us know what the reason would be. If a language barrier prevents you from communicating with them, then don't watch them. If they simply have no home training, then leave them alone. Simple. And that's what I said. No. Right. That's not fair to you. That's I, you. When I, I keep children, I like to make it a fun event. You know how I do. I will take it and buy all kind of stuff for the kids for that day. And I go all in. I love kids. Right. But when I done sat here and bought all this stuff and right. treating you to a nice time and then you just being hard-headed and managed, I don't think so. Never mind, now, get wait. your kids home. The mother had bought the three bikes. <laughs> little tricycle bikes with the little things on the side, right? And they was on the bike and then the middle one just pulled the little tassel. I mean, she said, Poof. I said, and she go, hey, 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 hey. I said. So they're not just instructive, too. <laughs> I said, oh, no. Wow, that's a whole nother subject. That's a like, whole nother subject. And it ain't nothing like some destructive thing that's tearing up and breaking up everything just because. Come on now. Then the one year old, she lifts the whole window. Oh, and what? hang out. The one year old picked up lifted. the window. She pulled. Now, you see, I'm going to show you my window. It's a heavy window. She pushed this all the way up. And she's only one. Oh no. You don't have window guards? They don't. You have window guards? No. Wow. I was like, that's and that's then she, And then they hang out the window, they speak to everybody. I'm like. Entra. Like, no. I just like. Read Alice's comment. It says she has, she should have beat his behind and took the bike until he learned how to appreciate nice. Oh no, it gets worse than that. They throw phones on the ground. I mean, I'd be like, wow, that's crazy. I'm not, I can't watch them. 
one is six, one is one is six, one is four, and one is one. To us, never them. Do you babysit other people's children? Me? Let us know. Oh. Us never dim. I wanted to know if us never dim babysit other people. I can't babysit. Okay, go ahead. Huh? I said I never. I always I, say I, this. <sighs> I'll do anything to help someone if they need help with their kids and they ask me if I can help out, I'll help out. But they Bye. can't be hard-headed. I can't deal with no hard-headed wow. kids. And this not the little kids. Sometimes it's the big ones. The big old teenagers, you get them for the weekend, they over there tearing up people's property. If you don't get off them people's property, I told one said, I said, don't eat the pears off my neighbor tree. You know, that's their stuff over there. Even though it may look like it's this property too, that's theirs. Don't eat off the tree. I said it several times. It was just like the forbidden apple. As soon as I went in that house, they went over there eating them pears off the folks tree. So I told them I said, the pears off the tree. They're going to say they fell on the ground. I want to hurt somebody. What's the difference? Don't eat the people's pears whether they fell on the ground or not. No. Yeah. I cannot. And I'm going to tell you something else. When you're doing the training, if you can find someone that can actually assist you, it'll be good too because them making them accidents can start to work on you, pop it up and this and that. And sometimes they get nervous and they tend to pee even more frequently. So having somebody to help you potty train is excellent because now you don't have to worry about, oh, they done had another accident. Oh, again. Oh, and now you just overwhelmed, cleaning up and mopping and changing underpants and panties and oh, uh, uh, uh. right. Those we have no home training. Right. We fought the parents and guardians for that. Most children do things that they are used to doing because of correct. No one correct them when they do the wrong things. Or they make excuses. Oh, they only did that because of this. And, oh, they don't do because they don't like when I tell them to do that. Or they usually listen, and now today they're just not listening at all. Like that child ain't listened in a month or two days. Who's the parent? You are. That's what Talisha said. That's what Talisha said. Right. You are the parent. Read Alan's comment. Um, she couldn't leave kids with me. When she comes back, she won't even know, <laughs> know that those are her kids. If your kids are hard-headed, don't even bring them to my house. They live downstairs. Hey, Alex. Alex. Alex was dating this young lady, and she had some grandkids, right? And she left them with us, right? And one of them, he usually be real, real hard-headed and don't mind, right? So she was a little scared to leave him. I told her, I said, no, you can leave him. She came back. He was sitting down nicely eating. She was silent. She said, did he get a beat in us? We let him know you better listen because you will get a beating. He heard up and got on the right track. He knew better because grandma wasn't there to save him. 
and he knew his little cousin couldn't save him, and he had a good time because he knew if you get me a cutting up, you're going to get your tail whooped today. His mother came a little bit after that. She looked and was like, he's sitting down eating. He ain't up jumping around and all of this and all of that. Uh-uh. He, he done been told, you sit your high pot down to that table and you better not get it up. He was right in front. Of they was looking like, wow. How somebody else can make your child you can. There's a problem. Read Malachi's comment. I <clears throat> I can't babysit children that mind authority, but I can't babysit children that is disobedient. Thank you. I'm actually feeling better. I'm gonna read. Want me to read Alex? It's also important. Read Alex. It's also it's also important. I agree, that everyone, Malachi. I agree too. It's also important that everyone in the house is on the same page. When potty training, the mom can't be going hard and the dad is like, whatever. True. Wow, that was very good. Great advice. Everybody help each other and try to be patient with your children. Because yeah. they're learning, they don't know. They wasn't born using the bathroom, and they get all nervous sometimes when they have an accident. So we have to know how to turn it around and make them feel like it's okay. It's okay. You had an accident. We're gonna get tidied up, but don't you do it again? We're gonna get you on the right track. You're not gonna keep doing it. You know, don't look at them and be like, ah, ah, you did it again. Ah, you feed on yourself again, <laughs> like you know, turn into the monster. There's nothing productive that's gonna happen now. You're just scaring them, <laughs> reassure them. It's okay, it's right. okay. I know you made an accident. They need to be like, Oh god, I feed them. Right. Don't, don't beat them or yell at them or whatever. Mm -hmm. You gotta restrain your some, you know, patience with them, right. And then when they get it, take them out and let them feel like they did something that they should be rewarded for. Even if it's just to get a slice of pizza. Say, you're a big boy or you're a big girl. Go out and celebrate that you are now wearing underpants. And when you get out there, you tell me you want to use the bathroom. Now, I want to send this out to those of you that's out there that have, have children that may have some speech issue or just some talking because we're not here to criticize anyone because every child is different and some children do not talk at the same time in the same age or the yeah. same level. So right. it's imperative that we understand may not digest things the way another right. child that can talk can and be able to tell you things the way another child can. So sometimes you may have to find ways for them to let you know, even if it means yeah. getting a picture of the potty or something that they can bring and show you, look, this is what's going on right now. I got to use the bathroom. And you have to let right. them be able to connect the picture, picture with the bathroom. So right. when they come and show you that, you know, okay, that means you want to use the bathroom. And this way you can start to have some kind of method mm -hmm. to communicate with a child right. that do not talk. So right. they can show right. you. And even as far as right. they want something else and they just can't talk, get them a little um, album, put some things in it, a folder that they can take out the pictures and show you this right here, this is what's wrong, or this over here, this is what's wrong, so thing. that you can understand them too because they're oh. the frustrated. Right. You can get the mat, like, Yes. The magnet with the with the um with the toilet bathroom. Yep. Something is wrong. They can spell it out, or if they can't yes. spell it out, um, sound it out. If they can't see, you know, there's things out there that you can do. You know. Yes, and get you some laminated paper so that you can put the pictures inside. And then buy you some magnets that has the little sticky thing where you can stick it 
So you can yeah. put them on the refrigerator or places that they just grab yeah. and bring it to right. you. The main things that you are gonna want every right. day, if they're not talking, so that you right. can start the process of how they can communicate. But it's important that you right. get them diagnosed also, so you understand why they're not talking. And if there is some type of therapy and trauma speech or sign language, or whatever necessary to get them on the right track of communication so that they can communicate. Because it's frustrating right. when someone don't understand you. Right. I agree that there will be accidents, but don't punish them, encourage them to keep moving forward. Very right. true, Alex. For Mara, that is a Great advice for them with those problems. They need that love too. Yes, we have to love on them too. Because it's exactly. scary when you're allowed to do something. Right, it is. Yes, it is. And then it's okay. And it's okay to ask for help. I don't even like to have an accident on myself and I'm wrong. Right. And I have some people, I still have speech problems. I cannot pronunciate certain things or pronounce things or I have to keep saying it till I finally get the word right. So, you know. So it's okay. But sometimes I'll just get, my tongue will just flip around. I know how to say the word and I'll just go put a little Right. Like me and names. I'm not but good. So y'all gave me advice in here. I am so proud yes of all the great tools that can be used and that's what i love about the village because when i ask you guys stuff y'all kick in and we're everyday people with everyday issues and everyday problems right and i love when we can talk about things that help other people right. exactly and i'm sure it's a parent that yeah. watch this and say i'm gonna try that or oh i didn't yes. think about that or that's a great idea we hope that we can help you all. Right. Exactly. So, um, like I said, there is magnet. I'm a I'm gonna probably pick it up and then I'm gonna show you. You know, I'll probably do a video about it because they they got the little chalkboard. They got the it's nice stuff. So they could write it out or they could point to it. The pictures. Yeah. And also tell you something. Some of these things that we're talking about purchased in the dollar is very budget exactly. friendly things that you can actually get that can actually help you. Yeah. But a couple of bucks can make life a whole whole lot easier for you and your child. Right. And um because I want one. I want about one. It. So yeah. Right. And it's so and it's so cute. Wow. You see what happens when we come together and we talk about topics and we brainstorm yes. and we actually work together. Yes. It's so productive. Yes. I I know. I'm really just, enjoying the stream because I'm really enjoying yeah. learning wow. from you guys too. Because I don't know it all. I don't know everything. Me either. I'm learning from you all as well. Right. It's always good to I'm learn. I'm a parent. I'm a grandparent. I'm an auntie. I'm a godmother. It's always good and to learn. And one thing may not work for every child. You have to try different things. Right. Different styles, different characters, different ways sit down and talk, or if they can't, find ways. There's always, I always say that, it's a will and it's always a way. And don't get frustrated. I'm going to say okay. this to Malachi and Alex. As men, yes, as men and fathers, thank y'all for giving us some input, because I'm thank sure you. there's some men out there that's trying body training and they are clueless. Yes. <laughs> and hopefully y'all will give them that confidence
to kick in with the mom and help her and mom please give her instructions and don't be fit with the dad if he don't know what to do teach right. him mom teach right. him and be because sometimes we get frustrated because we're all down their neck too so teach right. him what to do right. so that he can be right. a happy child also right. don't true. start fighting amongst each other because the baby messed, made a mistake or accident, altered it up so one person don't get stuck doing it all. Right. It's always, it's always, it's okay, right. and it's gonna be all right. And if it's a will, it's a way. Yes. I be, I truly believe that. I'm feeling so about these babies getting trained now. now i just really feel that some children are going to get trained sooner than later right that's all right that's all. it's gonna work got it on the bright side you will say have to be buying pampers right it's right that's all. Just a little bit more love. Alex. A little bit, a little bit more Be love. Alex. Uh, another thing I used to notice was parents and grandparents buying their kids tablets and expensive toys. I told then to start with toys. I told then <clears throat> to start teaching them how to write their name and, and to how to write their name and the names of if everyone um names of if everyone they in the house love everyone in the house right i tell kids until they know their name address and everyone in the house they have to stay in the house <laughs> Range, range. They hug and get it together. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something, right? For those of y'all don't know, Alice Doe is my Brody. That's my brother, and we have the same parents. And um, Talisha is our cousin. Her mm -hmm. mom actually is my father, and her mother are sisters and brothers. And I just want to say that sometimes the way you are raised is the way you tend to parent. And when it comes to parenting, there are some things that are gonna be instilled in our children at a very young age, because that's just the way we were taught. And growing up, I was very serious down to us being aware and able to articulate where we live and know our alphabets and colors before we went to school, how to write, how to count. There were certain things that they taught us at home. It was a teacher job to teach us how to identify with what your address is and what's your parents' name and what's your sister's and brother's name and how do you spell your name and you know what are all your alphabets and what are your numbers till at least about maybe 50 or so. And some kids now can even pick up to 100. I know my baby did before she started school and she started school at three years old. And she knew all of this. So you can teach your children this stuff early on. They're very intelligent. And they can ob obtain more than we think they can. You see them get on that internet and, can, and navigate better than me. So it's about teaching them because they're able to dodge and, and take in a lot. You just have to not be lazy also and get up off of your hind pot and say, okay, this is what I have to do to make sure that they are on the right track and not just keep saying, I'll do it next week. Oh, I don't feel like it. Oh, this is going to be so hard. You're making it hard. You haven't even took a step towards trying. If you try, you may find that it's not as difficult as you thought it was. And you have to teach them. When we were growing up, there was things that we were taught, and I know a lot of people from the old school know what I'm talking about, 
We didn't depend on when you went to school, the teacher had to teach you the basic things that you should know. You knew that when you walked in that classroom. That wasn't the teacher responsibility to have to try to teach you how to write your name out and spell your name and what's your parents' name and what's your address. You got some kids right. out here that's nine or 10 years old, don't know their address. That don't make no common sense. But I bet you they could tell you everything that iPhone can do. Sure can. Sure Welcome can. back. <laughs> Sweetie Pie, do you have any last words for the live stream? All I'm going to say is that parents that are party training and uh, winging off the bottle, winging off the pacifier, you can do it. You can do it. It takes a little bit more time and patience. And don't get, try not to get frustrated because you are going to get frustrated, but don't worry yourself. And it will happen in time. That's all. And I want to say to Alex Doe and Malachi, is there last words you want to leave with anybody? Should it be viewers, family, friends, or foe? Is there something you want to say in this live stream before I close out? And if to leave or anyone still around, and then if it's something you want to say before I conclude, please put it in the chat right now. Alex said, I've asked kids, what's your mother's name? And they tell me, mommy. I asked the mother, why don't your child know your name? She said, I don't know. I told her she needs to start teaching him certain things. It's true. That's true. Alice is my father. I'm talking about <laughs> Alice is my father. My father, he wasn't going to not know something to save your life. <laughs> when it was time for somebody to help you with your homework, you didn't want my dad to help you. I declare you didn't. Because my dad was a rocket scientist to me. Oh, he will always want me to do stuff on that never one do work, Daddy. I don't feel like being the smartest kid in the world. <laughs> I can remember some of my siblings crying doing homework. Oh, we would hurry up and do our homework play. Because if you got stuck at that table doing homework, if he came to help you, I promise you, you was going to be all night with that homework because he's not going to let you just do some mediocre homework. If we had to write sentences, I mean, oh my goodness, the rocket scientist sentences. Just say, for example, the word was porch. We couldn't just say porch. We had to take it to the next level and talk about the porch. Hold on now. Hello? Hey, hold on one second. <clears throat> Keep an open mind and your rewards will be great until the next time. Stay safe. Well, everybody, you know it's always time for me to go when I get a nice phone call and I'm enjoying my best life and y'all do the same thing. And let me tell yes. you something. You have yes. the queen love of this village. Yes. Sweetie Pie Rama called the day and we had an amazing live stream. Thank you yes. all for coming in and thank just you, giving up Alex. the love thank that you, you for us thank in you this day. All of them, especially my cousin, Patricia. Um, Sizzle Diaries. James. Oh, us you. never them. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for coming in. Thank everybody that decided to come in and just be a part of what's going on in this village. We thank yes. you all. I promise you, I love and we have an amazing live stream and they get better and better each time. Thank you, sweetie pie Roz. I love you. And everybody you. make this too. the best day. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>